All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and it is official. The Burgundy and Gold have signed former 2018 Pro Bowl left tackle from the Bears to a one-year deal worth $5 million. And I'm showing y'all Trubisky 2018 film because Charles Leno is the starting left tackle. Right now, he's on the right side of the screen for the Bears that year. And that is the year that the Bears had a top at least 12 offensive line. He was a starting left tackle for it. And again, he made the Pro Bowl. So the talent is there. Uh, he had a small decline in 2019, but he bounced back in 2020. And I'm definitely excited to see what he can do for us. Most notably, I'm really excited about the depth. I mean, if you're just analyzing the position now for tackles, we're just talking about pure tackles. We have Charles Leno, Morgan Moses, Cornelius Lucas, and Samuel Cosme. And I mean, you may even be able to throw Jerron Christian in there, even though at this point, I don't think he makes a team. But at the same time, you have guys like Samuel Cosme and Sadiq Charles who can play both guard or tackle. But then now at guard, we have Sheriff Schweitzer, Flowers, and Charles. And at center, we have Rulia and Ishmael. I mean, we turned wide receiver and offensive line from one of our biggest weaknesses to potentially some of our biggest strengths. I mean, it is crazy how much offensive line depth we have now. Receiver depth especially already broke that down in a completely separate video where I talked about who I felt like was gonna make the team as far as receivers go and why, what they're good at, what they're bad at and all that stuff. Make sure y'all go check that out. But this offensive line situation is crazy. And this signing also shows that they probably feel like Samuel Cosme is as raw as I thought he was. Some people felt like he may be able to start day one. And who knows, maybe he goes to training camp and just balls out and is ready to start day one because out of all of this tackle group, he's definitely the most talented. He has the highest ceiling. He has the most raw talent. He's the second most athletic offensive lineman drafted into the NFL since 1987. Stronger, faster, quicker, more mobile than Trent Williams. So he's just this raw clay that just needs to be molded into a Pro Bowl, all pro level tackle. But this Leno signing shows that they do not trust Cosme to necessarily play anytime soon. Again, maybe he surprises us, but apparently Rivera and company don't want to even take the chance. And it's surprising too, because I really like Cornelius Lucas. I'm one of those Cornelius Lucas truthers. I'm one of those people that feels like Cornelius Lucas was dramatically underrated last season. I mean, you even saw last year, Pro Football Focus gave him an 83.1 pass block grade, which was tied for 10th out of all tackles in the NFL. Not just left tackles, all tackles in general. There's 64 of them starting. And then also he had a 4.09 pressure rate, which was 18th in the league last year out of all tackles both right and left and so I can kind of understand where you know this tweet I'm not sure if y'all saw it a few days ago he said maybe just one day clowns will start putting some respect on my name that's after Ian Rappaport tweeted that we were bringing in Charles Leno for a meeting on Monday and that was Cornelius Lucas's direct retweet towards that but at the end of the day I love it I love the competition because who knows I mean even though Charles Leno was a 2018 pro bowler and he showed signs of bouncing back to that form in 2020 I would not be surprised if Cornelius Lucas beats him out for the starting spot I mean again I think Cornelius Lucas is drastically underrated I didn't understand this we have a huge tackle need leading up to the draft to where we need to possibly take one in the first round I just didn't see but now the competition between him and Charles Leno for the day one starter and Samuel Cosme as the developmental piece who could end up being better than all of them is really intriguing again the Washington football team took some of our biggest weaknesses receiver and offensive line and potentially turned it to some of our biggest strengths and it definitely seems like we're trying to win in the trenches when you win in the trenches you typically can figure everything else out afterwards and we already have arguably the best defensive line in football and now we're trying to shoot for arguably one of the best if anything one of the deepest offensive lines in football because even after injuries we have guys that are ready to step up and play starting roles and well i mean again if charles leno somehow wins this starting job day one cornelius lucas was a solid left tackle last season a solid left tackle on a top 15 offensive line last year pro football focus thought we had the sixth best offensive line last year but i know for a fact we at least had an above average offensive line and cornelius lucas and wes schweitzer were starting on those now we have eric flowers that's going to potentially start a left guard and charles leno in the mix is starting at left tackle and i also like this charles leno signing 
as far as he's very dependable. Like Cornelius Luke, as much as I love him, he got hurt a couple of times last year. And we already know how Brandon Sheriff works with injuries. But Charles Leno, who's only 29 years old, has started 90 plus consecutive games. That's as dependable as it gets. You know, your best ability is your availability and your dependability. And he's just one of the most dependable guys out there. Again, 90 plus consecutive games. And he was only cut as a cap casualty. The Bears drafted Tevin Jenkins, hoping that he can be a cheaper replacement to Charles Leno, save some money. Hopefully he can play just as well. Hold it down at the left tackle spot like Charles Leno has done for the past few years. So it's not even like Charles Leno is bad. They just wanted to save some money. They felt like they could just draft an offensive lineman and then cut Charles Leno and hope that the offensive lineman plays as well as Charles Leno did, but just for cheaper. So I love this signing for us. We get him at far cheaper than we should. I mean, a potential starting left tackle for $5 million for one year is crazy. And he's gonna play his heart out because it's a contract year. He's on a one year prove it deal. So he's gonna give us the very best of himself. And I'm really excited. And again, with the competition we have with Cornelius Lucas and Charles Leno, fighting to get that left tackle spot with Samuel Cosme as a dark horse. Oh yeah, man, this, this training camp battle at the tackle position is gonna be so intriguing. And when in doubt, Cornelius Lucas, both of them are coming from the Bears, which is really interesting. I mean, they used to be teammates, Charles Leno and Cornelius Lucas, but we've seen Cornelius Lucas play both right tackle and left tackle for the Bears. So when in doubt, he could potentially be the best swing tackle in the NFL. I mean, we like Ty Naseki a lot. I like Cornelius Lucas even more than him as a backup option to play either right tackle or left tackle, depending on what injuries may go down. So so I love this sign and again turning offensive line from one of our biggest weaknesses to one of our biggest strengths I'm a huge fan of it we look like we're ready to truly compete going into this upcoming season and I really hope we go and get a Bobby McCain because I feel like it's a pretty similar situation to where you know we have some guys that can play free safety but I prefer to bring in the more proven guy that can start day one while guys like Jeremy Reeves maybe potentially Derek Forrest can try to develop into great free safeties pro football focus loves Jeremy Reeves I'm just not that high on him yet and I would love to bring in a Bobby McCain because what can it hurt I mean especially if he's out here signing the safety equivalent of a tackle signing a one-year five million dollar deal Bobby McCain is probably only asking for like two you know safety is one of the most devalued positions in football it's literally running back and safe neck and neck so I'm pretty sure if we sign Bobby McCain, it's not gonna be for a lot anyway. But either way, I'm really excited about this sign and don't wanna talk about Bobby McCain too much. I wanna give Charles Leno his shine. I'm really excited about this sign and the training camp battles on this team are gonna be crazy. Y'all already know Samus Reyes is easily top five, one of the most intriguing players for me to keep track of throughout the offseason. But now we have heavy competition in the offensive line, heavy competition at receiver. You already know the defensive line competition is crazy. I mean, and even like the training camp battle between Ryan Fitzpatrick and Taylor Heineke, which I feel like is honestly going to be fairly open, like a true may the best man win, even though I feel like it's going to be Ryan Fitzpatrick. I do feel like Taylor Heineke is going to have an honest shot at it. I'm just really excited, man. This offseason, this training camp is going to have some of the most competitive practices we've ever seen. And I hope they open training camp and things like that to fans attending, maybe like another fan appreciation day. We'll see. I know they already opened up stadiums to be full capacity at FedEx Field for the regular season. So we'll see if they're able to open up the fan experience and the fan appreciation days where fans can pull up the training camp like they usually did before the pandemic. But yeah, man, definitely get in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this signing, man. I'm really excited about it. Again, I love the depth. I love flipping one of your biggest weaknesses to one of your biggest strengths, potentially. So I'm really excited. Do you think Jerron Christian is on the outside looking in? Because I honestly feel like he's not going to make the team. But definitely get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video. And as always, man, I really appreciate all of the support, man. Shouts out to everybody that donates to the channel. Of course, man, big shouts out to that. Man, shouts out to all of my sponsors, especially my Pro Bowl sponsors. You may see scrolling on the screen right now, man. I really appreciate all y'all. I'll catch y'all later, man. I'm out.